So here, this is a little something I uh, shared earlier today that I will uh, read. And, of course, the letters to um, Brian. Of course, I like to make the notes of that it's in Phoenician, only my definitions. <laughs> only I can interpret this. You can read literally if you want. But you cannot make any assumptions or presumptions as to what my intent is. Only I can do that. Because I'm the only one living. I'm the, I'm the author. <laughs> I'm the only one that can define this, my reality. Right? Which is why I laugh at people trying to interpret the law. <laughs> okay, let me interpret every law and statute on the books. It's fraud, you're fucked. I'd say that's a pretty good interpretation. Simple, short, sweet, concise. Blunt, <laughs> as I'm known to be. And then you're going to see just how much fun I like to have with these monkeys. Because I know they're powerless. Powerless little whip stains. With not even enough power to popcorn their w- fart their way out of a wet paper bag. Here we go. As per your fraud. And by the way, uh, please, uh, this is in rich text format. I'm not sure if Ninja has had an opportunity yet to post it. Let me just double check to see if she has. I'll know if she's grabbed it or not. Nope, she hasn't, she hasn't had a chance to grab it yet. But as soon as it's up, I will, will let you know. And, uh, uh, oh, uh, okay, uh, Randy just mentioned something. I will repeat it. Uh, the bar card. All the bar card does for a lawyer or any member of the bar is allow it grants them right and access to the copyrights of the crown, which means that they can use the copyrights, their names, without committing fraud. That's why only they can, uh, can speak for a dead legal slave. That's why you become one of their clients. Because in truth, they do not want you to commit fraud. They want to trap you in it for sure, milk the fuck out of your bond. But they sure don't want you doing it to yourself. They'd rather do it to you. As long as you remain stupid, ignorant, and in use of the legal name, then you better get one of them to talk for you. Because if you, if you don't, you walk in. Uh, there was a, I will make a comment regarding a, another video I posted. I got to tell you, other than laughing at it, it, was, it, it nauseated me listening to this whiny twat try to object to a judge that being very fair I'd already have the cunt fucking guillotined and wheeled out in the first 30 seconds he let her talk for 7 minutes fool wimp but he was being kind I'm listening to that judge and I'm going Jesus buddy you got the patience of Job I'd already have this bitch strung up but then that's me I'm a bit of a truth whore you're not standing in truth <laughs> I got my cat of nine tails completely uh, complete with a nice shredding tips on each of the tails that not only cuts through flesh, ego, it also cuts through evil soul. Okay? So, the bar card, look this up if you want. Bar card, all it does, uh, this is from, this is going back a few years, uh, Johnny in Texas. Uh, I talked to him so much, Johnny Enigma. Uh, he was directly involved with a lot of stuff, one of the very few that would go in, and he he played with the courts. And uh, uh, he had an interesting job in that he had uh, installed a lot of the computer systems in the courthouses in Texas and uh, literally down the largest uh, Dallas law firm uh, with his antics and what have you. So, uh, yeah, we talked about this uh, one day. And, uh, yeah, the bar card, all, all the bar card does is it grants them right of use of, of all the copyrights of the Crown. And if you're, if you're granted the right to use a copyright, then you're not using somebody else's property. You've been given the right to use all legal copyrights, which means all legal names, all corporation names, and everything else. So that's the real magic behind the bar card. Unfortunately for them, though, they work for the police. So they are subservient to the police, and the police have an obligation. Well, I'll tell you, if you're not, if, if you can't arrest one person on the same charge, you won't arrest another one absolutely guilty of if you found someone falsely impersonating somebody you a cop would arrest anyone on the street for it well they're all falsely impersonating you see just because you have right use of a, of a copyright doesn't absolve you of the oath to the crown 
you're dead by consent. You're still dead. Like I said, a rose by any other name is still fucking dead. You can call it a cactus. You can call it a pumpkin. If it's dead, it's dead. Right? Stick a fork in it. So hopefully that uh, clarifies it a bit more, Randy. Um, you can let me know that. Just to, uh, I want to make sure that that's clear with everybody. So here it is. As per your fraud. Uh, to whom it may concern. A vast fraud upon all of humanity has recently come to my attention, and something you may or may not be aware of, depending on your job, role, title, as it relates to government, post office, legal, lawful occupations, law enforcement, military, etc. There is much confusion with many in that one's true name given to them is assumed to presume to only be a legal name, which certainly is not. The fraud is assuming, presuming one is automatically a legal name in things like mortgages, loans, uh, tickets, fines, taxes, etc., where in fact no disclosure of the intent to commit fraud, entice a human into slavery via deception, etc., at all, from the true owner of all legal names and copyright, namely the owners or authors of the Crown Corporation, has never and was never offered, rendering all things legal, lawful, null and void, since it is based on fraudulent intent of an issue, since before it began. The idea had to come in first, right? <laughs> As a case in point, if someone were to know the difference between the legal name and their true name, which sounds the same, they would be immediately contempt of every court on this planet if they set foot in one, knowing this, but would also be deemed crazy for even being there, if even only to explain this mistake of assumption, uh, it should be presumption, I put assumption twice, doesn't matter. Uh, deception, I'll change that. Uh, every judge, justice, mayor, chief justice, would instantly be guilty of aiding and abetting fraud, which they are anyway, based on their own rules. If someone made this known to them in a bar, crown, courtroom. While it is not and never my intent to harm anyone, it is also not my intent to place anyone who is knowingly or unknowingly taking an active role in the thefts, slavery, and murdering spiritually humanity as a whole. <clears throat> it is a simple case of damned if you do and damned if you don't if one carries any form of fraudulent identification which can only be created after the fact of the birth certificate intent to commit fraud on every mother, father, and child. It is a fact that a birth certificate is not evidence of identity, yet any all forms of identification can only be obtained upon the presentment of this intent to commit fraud ev evidence document. It's quite simple, really. As another simple example of this, nothing in the legal commerce world could, can, or would exist without this legal name fraud in place that puts everyone with using any and all forms of legal identification immediately in a state of false personation, fraud, and countless other capital crimes for the mere free will consent and thinking one actually is a legal name, which they certainly are not. A legal name only exists on paper in a flat-earth, two-dimensional paper seat, where those defrauded via deception into using one, thinking they are one, are the very ones that give this dead-by-consent fictional reality its existence at all. It's insane, really, when you think about it. When one uses the fraudulent legal name identification, one's own body is assumed and presumed property of the crown by virtue of the BIFT gift, see Black's Law, Gamete, Interfallopian Transfer, i.e. the point of conception, of the given name. As a result of non-disclosure of this fact to any and all who register their child to pronounce killed as per Phoenician law, inasmuch as they are also likely registered themselves, as slaves for the same fraud perpetrated on their mother and father. The, deline sorry, the delineation here is quite clear, where the crown assumes and presumes ownership of the physical body via this fraud, where the true living spirit, completely separate from the physical, is in control of that vessel, but not of that vessel. Visit a local funeral home to verify lack of spirit in a dead body to see the difference between life source consciousness Present and absent. The material world is dead when it is void of life source consciousness, i.e. humans, animals, birds, insects, plants, etc. Uh, and that also includes bioborgs as well, boys and girls. Uh, they are operating strictly off uh, another's power. They don't have any life source or consciousness. 
They're just programmed robots. Think of a Terminator in the movie, and you'll you'll know what they are. Back to the uh, writing here. As an example, it is the same as someone, quote, stealing, unquote, your car. You think you own, but mom and dad sold or gift dead it at conception on the assembly line. And then take the car with you in it to the crusher, and all the doors are locked, seemingly permanently. Well, the doors are unlocked now, where it can no longer be assumed or presumed that I have anything to do with the legal name, regardless of any all identification, because the original sin, crime, intent to deceive, aid, and abet fraud already belongs to the owner and authors of the Crown Corporation. While much confusion and ignorance of this fact eludes most law enforcement bar member Crown Oath, it does not elude me. Therefore, one... It is not my intent to commit fraud, nor aid and abet anyone else into same commission omission thereof, where assumption presumption of any all legal names, aliases, joinder, bearing false witness, etc., at all are concerned. And two, any all attempts by, of, for, any and all who assume or presume me, the source consciousness within my body reclaimed, will be deemed high treason against the creator of all itself, as I am part of all consciousness and my courti court, heart of the truth, and, by virtue of your own rules, are now obligated to arrest, detain, incarcerate any and all legal name servants, slaves acting in any all titles, offices, etc., at all, who have attempted, are attempting, or will attempt to engage in pledge in this activity against me and any all those who know this fact. And, three, any all harms created against me, my family, and humanity must now be made right. Where all things stolen, including time, must be put back in the hands of the true owners. Where these crimes against me, us, could only be fulfilled in and of and by and for this crown owner's oath intent to commit fraud ab initio. Do not expect me in any and all of your courtrooms, any or all of your courtrooms, or venues, because it is not my wish to put you, myself, or anyone in the position of high treason in the same way that those who serve the whore of Babylon Crown Corporation, via the mark of the beast legal name, fraud with intent, by their own commission, omission, ignorance of this truth. As one of the true living beings on this planet, those that consent to be dead have no voice, where my voice shall command them now. I will simply now ask you, your intent to commit fraud or aid and abet me into committing fraud knowingly. You are hereby commanded by me, the living, to contact me to make amends in all Crown Corporation frauds against me. That shall include, though not limited to, any and all who have committed fraud, borne false witness against me, where to not do so places you in high treason against the heart of all creation itself, where I freely by and of my own consent, let creation itself take its course. I judge not, lest I be judged. I, who am without legal name, wash my hands of those who are of unclean hands. Remember, I'm just a witness in this, right? Ah, the living one. Assumption, presumption of, of legal names, fraud, nulled and voided, nunc pro tunc, tunc pro nunc, ab initio ad infinitum, Fiat justitia, ruat saelum, danica ultimatum, reverio verum. To fail in following your own laws, you render any and all laws, statutes, null and void. If you are confused in any of these matters, please feel free to visit kateofgaia.wordpress.com at your leisure for a detailed explanation of countless ignorances removed. Ignorance of the true law is not a defense of or from it. Written with in Phoenician sonic definitions as defined only by me as per my intent, assumption and presumption of any all possibilities other than my own are destroyed ab initio. Read the following information as a courtesy on my part, lest you fear seeking truth any further, where this is already and forever will be your binding contract to make right your ignorant ways. Let no one take away from this book of life, nor add to it, lest they burn Well, they'll hang out somewhere they don't want to be for a long time. And it's not my wish for them to do that. It's really simple. Wake up. You good? You good? All right, let's go party. That's all I care about. 
get back to the game, you know, have some fun. 